Peter Zasser, who writes, what are your thoughts on the recent Viggo Mortensen interview where he called the Lord of the Rings trilogy, especially the Two Towers and ROTK, sloppy and went on to comment further on how messy they were? It's kind of surprising to hear something like that from him. I reckon the Lord of the Rings films were really a cinematic achievement. With these comments, have your perceptions of the Lord of the Rings changed? Um, to be really honest, my perception of the Lord of the Rings films has not changed. My perception of Viggo Mortensen has changed. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I, I, look, I, 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 Viggo Mortensen has been a working uh, actor for a, for a long time before Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. How many of you knew the name Viggo Mortensen before Lord of the Rings? Nope. Nobody did. Nobody knew who you are. Yeah, you went on to do these amazing th things like a history of violence, uh, the one with a hist uh, history of violence. Uh, what was the one with the Russian mob again, uh, where he was the the hitman, the yeah. former hitman of the Russian mob? Oh, I know what you're saying. The Cronenberg film. Yeah, uh, the, that he's done several really great films since Lord of the Rings. You got those films because now the public knew you from Lord of the Rings. And there's just something. There's two sides of this coin, right? There's the side of, hey, you know, it's kind of refreshing hearing an actor being honest, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get that. But then there's a side of biting the hand that fed you and being really disrespectful to the people who are responsible for giving you the career that you have today. The people responsible for making your name recognizable and then going back and biting the hand and spitting in the face of people who love this thing. I, hey, you called the third one a real mess? set the record for 11 Oscars. No other film in Oscar history has won more than Lord of the Rings Return of the King. So you're spitting in the face of the people who gave you your career. You're spitting in the face of the fan base who love this thing dearly. Um, hey, look, if you, if you really feel that you don't like it, that's fine, that's cool. But to come out and be so insulting and so disrespectful, no, my opinion of Lord of the Rings hasn't changed. My opinion of Viggo Mortensen has. And look, look, let me make this really clear. Viggo Mortensen just did a real dick thing. You have done a dick thing this week. That doesn't mean you're a dick. Everybody at this table this week at some point has done a pretty dick thing. That does not mean we're dicks. <laughs> we all do dick things. I don't think Viggo Mortensen is a big jerk, but this was a pretty jerky thing to do, which we all do sometimes, but I'm, I'm disappointed in the comments. Schnapp, you read them. What did you think? Well, I read the comments, but I didn't see the context of what, where the article was, so I didn't actually get a chance to read the article. Was that in the context of what he was talking about? He still came off like that? Yeah, yeah, I, I read the article, and okay. it was like, oh, that's really good, because he says, yeah, and then they got worse and worse, and Peter Jackson forgot how to direct, and he yeah. just got became totally reliant on visual effects and don't even get me started on the Hobbit well, films. Know, here's the thing. Like, he like, used the word, they're a mess, and like you like and Ewan McGregor was pretty outspoken about the prequels. Yeah, but he was but right. He was, <laughs> was, not, not only was he right, but he said it pretty much like a year into them shooting. Like, a sh when they were shooting the very last prequel, it was like, kind of saying how he was disappointed with them and they didn't come out the way... He was not that. See, that's proud not what I read at all. Yeah. I, I read something very. I said I, I read that he was kind of disappointed with how they were, <coughs> how they were being received and stuff like that. But like in talking to people who were on set with them, they say he loved the character of Obi Wan. No, no, no. I mean, know? on set, sure. But like, I'm talking about afterwards. Right. He's, he's, See, I heard that he was disappointed with how they were received. I hadn't. I hadn't read that he hated the movie. Or like, I mean, if you that. Google but, it, you can find. Yeah, like, maybe they'll be there. A, but everyone says some sour things once in a while. Absolutely. But this definitely is like. I don't really understand where it's coming from. Like it's, what Why is it, 12, 13 it? years later? Yeah. I mean, 14 years Well, later? I didn't get to read the whole article, but I read uh, some of maybe the context. I, from what I got from it was he, he meant that the, the second and third films were messy after they were done shooting them mm. and that they had to go back and do reshoots in order to plug in and fix all the holes. Well, that's true have. too, but so, he complains about Peter Jackson. Well, he Jackson complains about Peter Jackson, yeah. complains about the reliance on CG and stuff. I, I, that That is definitely for today, but I think for in, in terms of the second, third movie, I think it was more in the context of, you know, those are huge movies. By the end of them, there's definitely going to be a lot of things that you're going to need to fix. Right. Oh yeah, it's just it's too I don't understand like sour grapes after eating all of the grapes. Like, <laughs> it, like it doesn't make any sense. So that's a great hashtag. Yeah. hashtag Sour grapes after eating all the grapes. It's a long hashtag, but it's a good one. Mira, what did you think? I agree. I don't understand why he would say what he said. I don't like to your point about context. I don't even understand why he would go there after so many years. I love these films. I love the books growing up, and I thought they were so beautifully done. All of them. Yeah. And it's really hard, like you were saying, to create a trilogy based on such rich mythology and make it work in a film format. And I, I just, I'm, I, it kind of broke my heart a little bit reading it. Not so much just about Vigo 
falling from grace as he did for you, but for me, just hearing somebody say such mean things about films I love, you know, these are these are films I love, and, and I think I, I disagree with him. I think he's wrong. I think they, they don't appear to be a mess to me, and I've watched them over and over again in all their formats, you know, director's cut and box sets and all that stuff. So so I'm just I was just kind of bummed. It was a bummer to and, read it. And let's be clear, he's ridiculously talented. He's such yeah. a good actor. I'll watch him. Yeah, in, he's amazing. I'll watch him in a laundry commercial. Like <laughs> seriously, he's that good. I love him. I think Why he's fantastic. Does he hate on my movie yeah, so and I am yeah, biting the hand that feeds you. I don't hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests and prize giveaways.